Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. My punching combination videos have been very popular on YouTube. Hello to all my internet students, combatants, MMA friends, all my fighter friends over in Japan, and everywhere, everyone around the world. Hope you enjoy my new website, thecombatsystem.com. I'm going to show you my advanced punching combination system, uh, numbering system. That way I can yell combinations to students, and not everyone's going to know it, not everyone's going to watch my video or necessarily go with my style, but this is my style for MMA. Some of it's good for combatives too. I'll show you maybe uh, how some of them work in combination. Um, in the other video, it was a simple, my simple system is one, two, three, four being the rear uppercut and that's it. Okay, jab, cross, hook, rear uppercut. That's the basis of everything you do. That's the beginning of everything you do, but MMA is a lot more advanced. We see guys using different punches, punching styles. Okay, so I'm gonna go at, uh, through some of the punches now. One, of course, is a jab, two is a cross. Three is a front hook. Four is a rear hook, which we almost never use unless we do a forward step with it. Four is a rear hook. Five is a lead up cut. Six is a rear up cut. Seven is a Russian long hook. You shoot it like a jab, hooking with your four knuckle. Eight, follow up, right Russian long hook. Nine is a switch step punch or a GSP lead Superman punch, either one. Nine, switch step punch. Okay, Benny the Jet style. Again, switch punch, it leads into great combinations. Okay, and, and it hits on the off rhythm. It kind of disrupts the guy's rhythm and what he sees coming. Okay, tag is your traditional Superman. You might lift the leg if you want, think like you're going for a kick. 10 is the Superman. 11 is the overhand punch. Step off an angle so you don't get hit with the uppercut. Step off, hit with that four knuckle. It leads into course in a single leg, double leg takedown. Okay, 12 is a cobra punch. Okay, you punch it first like the fist first like a whip. Watch my cobra punch video. Punch step, okay? We usually do it with a punch step. You could do it with a punch shuffle three, so a 12 three, okay? It could be a combination, or a 12 step three could be a combination like I showed in the John Jones Machida videos. So that's 12, and 13 is a spinning back fist. Here, boom, step landing in a good stance. It's not a lot of people do, land in the good opposite stance. There is a 13 combination, for an example, would be spinning back fist punch or grab the head, either a cross or punch grab the head, or a left high kick. Okay, so looking at camera, I'll do the punching system again. One is a jab, two is a cross, three is a lead hook, four is a rear hook, which we almost never do unless we go with a step. Okay, boom. Five is a lead up cut, six is a rear up cut, seven, Russian long hook, eight, Russian long hook. Nine, switch step, punch. Ten, Superman. Eleven, overhand, you gotta get off the center line so you don't get hit with the uppercut counter, or uppercut counter. Twelve, cobra punch. Usually this is gonna be fast and step, and that knee is gonna go for a knee bump in wrestling. Your placement of the foot's very important. I'll do another video on that later. Leads into um, tight waist takedowns. Okay, and, and there's tons of power in that punch. It's gonna disturb the guy or rock the guy. They've happened on accident, on accident twice in this last month in MMA. A uh, guy with initials name I can't pronounce, AO, I think an XFC, got a knockout this way, and George Santiago got a knockout this way. Through the cross, but stepped right behind it. It's the timing of the muscles and the mass and the momentum all working together, makes it super strong. And in MMA, just talking about that cobra punch over here, in MMA, your hands I'm going to go in very fast while you attack my drone. I punch it so he can't see it. And it's going to, it, it's so much power that it may not knock the guy out, but it's at least going to daze him and make him do some spear walking. You punch and step, and you hear your knees going right behind for the takedown. So I usually would do attack my drone, the guy's coming into me, and I'm here. Easy takedown style because my knee is there bumping his knee, knee bump. I go into a tight waist, that actually be tighter with my arms. Go into a tight waist or a Kazushi Waza style sweep. So that's a 12, okay? And 13 is a spinning back fist step from across spinning back fist. So I'm glad we're over here. Just, just, yeah, just get coming here. Show them where the strikes are gonna hit. Of course, a jab, boom, cross, boom, hook. We're going for the jaw, the temple, anything. With this nice, wide, elbow, high, hook for the neck. Boxing is going to be tight up here, lifting the elbow or turning that punch over. Well, as all my boxing, kickboxing trainers want to teach me. But I like my hook a lot more simple than style, throwing the wide. Three. Four, I'm almost never going to use. I don't like guys throwing a lot of wide hooks. Unless, like I'm softball here, 
and then I step with the rear hook in order to get this knee bump at the same time. Look at some of Mike Tyson's early knockouts. The knees on the opposite side of the leg is counterbalance, okay, as a, as a tripper. Okay, so that's, here's four rear hook. Five is lead up cut. Six is rear up cut. Seven, out here, Russian long hook. I like to aim these towards the temple, or you can go to the jaw. So that'd be a seven, eight combination. Boom, boom, Fedor style. Okay, you're gonna shoot it like a jab, and then hook in. So it, 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 you're tricking his eyes and his, his brain. Hook, hook, now this one's like a cross and hook in. So you can go a seven, eight, seven, eight combination. Okay, see what that look like? Turn this way. Seven, eight, seven, eight. Okay, or you can do a, a one, two, seven, Russian long hook, 11 overhand. You can do one, two, seven, 11, into a takedown, into a clinch. One, two, seven, eleven, going into some kind of takedown attack. Okay, so the, the different, different, different things we can do. We can do a, a 12 3 or a 12 4. I guess a 12 4. Okay, you do the cobra punch, punch step here, which I think would be effective for like someone like Machida could have been effective trying to trip up John Jones's great base. I talked about that being 12 4, sorry. Boom. See here with my leg, go down my knee. Here, counter bounce. Can I come back up? So we're here, trying to knock him off balance. You could go 12 3, 12 shuffle 3. That's not a cross, it's faster, it's loose. And the fist goes before the foot. So look at my cobra punch video. So you're, you're gonna see how to use these Russian long punches. Um, like Mighty Mouse used against Ian McCall. He got two of these kind of Russian hooks, MMA hooks, Russian long hook style. I'm Ian McCall in the first round. I like both fighters, great fight. They're gonna rematch, it was technically a draw. But um, these are all the punches you're gonna really uh, use in MMA. Okay, if I call for a 13 gambo, that's going to be spinning back fist if he leans away, move back a little bit, and then I'm going to go left high. So scoop back out of my back fist movement or lean back. Boom. Okay, well, then it would turn into a, I'm going, I'm already landing in a good stance. This is going to turn into a cross or a grab to the hand, grab to the head, lead into the left high kick. Okay, so that'd be a 13 combo. So in MMA, it's not like straight up Muay Thai. There's a lot of things that are gonna work that don't necessarily work in kickboxing that are better suited for mixed martial arts. It's its own sport. The lead up a cut I use a lot more if I'm southpaw. You know, then I would do something like the Murr combo, which I have another video of. Okay, using that lead up cut. Okay, or shovel punch. You know, at an angle a little bit. So these aren't all the punches, but these 13 are kind of your main punches. So I have 13 main punches, 13 main kicks, 22 elbows, 14 knees. And you'll learn all these angles of attack, um, especially like the, the Russian long punches. He's not going to see so much because of how I do it. If I shoot a punch here, he just thinks it's a missed jab when he's tired of gas round after round of fighting. So I hook that in. So one, two, seven, eight, one, two, seven, eleven. Those are good for street fights. One, two's not even gonna hit. But if, I like close range CQB stuff for combatives. But if like the second guy engages you from out far, you might just go at him right away with the one, two, seven, eight, one, two, seven, eleven, seven, eight, seven, eight combination um, with aggressiveness going with forward momentum into him. All right, so uh, I'm Dan Wolfman. That's my advanced numbering system. Try it out, see if you like it, thanks.